All right, time right now is 7.50. Michelle's joining us, making us a little happier on this Wednesday. That's right, my phone just started buzzing. Does so I'm sorry like, about do you need that. to take that? Yeah, put that down. <laughs> Maybe someone's calling to make scammer. you happy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, what do you have for us this morning? The first one I actually loved. It's just okay, spending money, but for other people. I think we can all say that that always feels good when you're like, you find that perfect gift for something yes. or someone, and you get excited about it. I mean, I get excited and then they return it. And then, <laughs> well, some of us. Help us out. <laughs> Anyways, Michelle, happy. what do you have for us? Yeah, that was our first task today, to spend money on someone else. You know, I already got an Instagram message from someone who was like, okay, you got it, I'm spending money today. So oh, okay. that's an easy awesome. one. Uh, this second challenge, though, is all about you. So okay. today, or sometime this week, maybe this weekend, find some time to read an adventurous story. So this is, I think this is a really cool study. A 2012 study found that when we read about someone else's awe-inspiring experience, we are more satisfied, less stressed, and more willing to volunteer our time to help others than if you were shown an image just to make you happier. That's awesome. So I think this is it's easy too, yeah. right? Yeah, it is. Read yeah. a book. <laughs> like, That's Be it. happier. These book. are some books that uh, Instagram said were actually. This is uh, books for I think middle school students. Okay. Um, adventurous books. I think you know there's so many different versions of adventures. My favorite books I have at my apartment are like the Little Miss and Little Mister books, like Mister Small. Do you know what I'm talking no. about? No. All right. We'll have to bring them in sometimes. But there, there's a Mister Adventure, so you can read that. It just take a couple minutes. It makes sense though because you're kind of leaving, you know, your own world reality a and little going bit. <laughs> yeah going somewhere else and it's gonna make you happier so I nice. actually was uh, telling our one of our producers this morning we were talking about Mount Everest how it you know quote-unquote changed heights sure. uh, just the measurement of it but I was actually uh, reading a book on Bear Grylls uh, how he his adventure mm -hmm. of going on Mount Everest and it, how it was just insane I mean it was six months you have to go up part of the peak yeah. and come down and just getting used to the altitude a sickness. It's not exactly, you know, like a fantasy adventure or anything sure. like that, but it was so but interesting. But it got you out of right yeah, now. Yeah, and it was you, your mind just a fascinating like thing. And yeah, it was a, kind of an escape, if you will. And you show. can read it just on your couch with yes. the heat on. Yeah, Be comfy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can breathe the air easily. Right? Well, this is, uh, this is also making a smile this morning. Morning Mug Club question yeah. of the day. We've been doing a gingerbread house in our <laughs> studio this morning. Elliot and Joey are really, Joey really kind of I don't know. Going head to head. Going head to yeah. head. I, more would than, say, I think Joey these. and I are actually more uh, enjoying the, the candy, the, the materials. And the world is like, yeah. So I was saying, I think Joey's is definitely more structurally sound. So his sound. is the one on the right. Yeah, so Joey's is on the right. Mine, I would say, is a little bit more, maybe more colorful, creative, but Joey's got a tornado in there too. So very true to, true to his uh, craft, if you will. Yeah, so let us know. Go to our Facebook page, put your vote in. We'll announce the winner here in the next hour.